Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel where we will be rating every player's performance from Tottenham Hotspur's 2-0 win over Dinamo Zagreb in the Europa League round of 16 first leg uh, in London. We're going to start with goalkeeper and captain Hugo Lloris. 7.5. 7.5. He made um, some uh, pretty good saves and he was constantly in control of the ball. They didn't really test him that much, but he was... The regular Loris that we expected, he distributed the ball well, worked well with the I back agree. four. I'll give him a 7.5 as well. Next up, Serge Aurier, who played right back, uh, 8. He was... He was really good. I give him an 8 too. He put in lots of good crosses. And he was just constantly working on up his and down return the from injury. He yes, was I'm really just good. hoping he'll be available for the North London Derby because we need him. I don't know. I, I like Doherty, but he is a bit of a defensive liability. So, I hope Arye is ready to play. Maybe not 90 minutes, but at least, you know, 60, 70, and then he can be subbed off for, for Doc. Yeah. Uh, next up, Davinson Sanchez, who partnered Eric Dyer in defense. We'll start with the Colombian. Eight. Eight. The guy was another rock. He's conceded one goal in his last five matches that he's played. Yeah, it's another brilliant performance from Sanchez. And his, season, his season has turned around ever since Everton. Yeah, he's been incredible. I think the goals just helped his confidence. And now yeah. I think Jose is starting to weed out the mistakes in his pl his game. Because obviously, past two seasons, we've seen that he's a bit fragile on, you know, the mental part of it. And what? And before we see, we've seen that he's really good at defending tackles yep. and all that. Yeah. But he, Jose got he him makes... to basically like concentrate. He, sometimes he makes bad, like um, bad decisions. Yeah, decision making. And he knew that he wasn't the best on the ball. But now he's he definitely much better. better. Yeah, now he's definitely much better. Next up, uh, Eric Dyer, who partnered Davinson Sanchez, seven point five. Uh, seven point five. I agree. Yeah, because he was just as solid as Sanchez, but he did make multiple headed mistakes. Which, if we didn't have Sanchez, if we had a slower CB like Aldevarold. I think that would have been a goal, Eric because or yeah, because Dyer made some mistakes on the he-, uh, he he came forward to try and head the ball forward, ended up heading it right back towards his own goal, and he was already out of position, so that's already a disadvantage. So um, yeah, he was he was good with his feet, just wasn't good in the air, but still, it was a good performance from him. Next up, Ben Davies, seven point five. The guy was solid today. Yeah, I agree. He was really good today. He was attacking, which we don't see a lot of with Ben. But yeah, I saw him attack He was attacking well, put in some crosses, but he was defending well as well. Yeah. And he would cover for Dyer whenever Dyer would make one of his... Uh, he would miscontrol the header or something. But Davies would always be there, ready to back him up. And he was, he was good today again. And he's a good asset to have in the squad, although I do think that Sessegnon will be replacing him in the uh, next season after how his performances have been for Hoffenheim. Now we move into midfield. Musa Sissoko. Eight. Uh, yeah, eight, I agree. He was a tank today. He was constantly zooming into the opposition. He won a lot of one back possession a lot of times and it was kind of the the exact the, the the exact person that we needed in place of Hoybier because Pierre needed a serious rest, but um, yeah. Sissoko was a perfect guy to replace him, and this it was is, a good performance. From his him. first good performance in a while. In a long time, yeah. yeah. Next up, Tango Endombele. Tangi Endombele, eight. Eight. I agree. The he guy was, was insane today. Well, especially when Dinamo Zagre were sitting back, he got on the ball yeah. a lot, and he constantly threaded through got those. Fouled. He, oh, he got, got fouled a lot. I, I, he was probably the most fouled player in the game. Um, he was he was fouled four times. Wow. So the guy was and you know what? Not all of them were. Not all of the fouls were actually counted. He was. Fouled at least four more times, especially uh, even in the penalty box. Remember yeah. that? Yeah, it was that should penalty. have been the penalty. That was another foul. So he was, you can tell he was good today. By the way, the Zagreb players were just constantly closing him down and trying to tackle him. So eight, eight. Next up, Delhi Ali, who returned to the starting eleven after uh, getting dropped out of 
Crystal Palace. I'm gonna say seven. I seven. Think he was pretty very poor. average. He was average. He was kind of poor, but he was still helping the team get forward. Yeah. Definitely, especially in the first half. Second half, he quieted down before getting subbed off. But first half, he was definitely trying to help the team get forward. But like as we've seen before, his flicks were not good today. Sometimes his flicks can be like out of this world. But today, they just. I think he would have been better if he didn't do the flicks, but still, it wasn't a bad performance, to say the least, but it was poor. Next up, we're going to go to Eric Lamella, 8.5. 8.5, I agree. He was, he was messy. messy. He yeah. was, he was, I guess Messi must have disappeared from um, his game against PSG because he had to come here to play <laughs> for Tottenham, but no, Lamella was insane. The only thing I don't like about him is how he hates using his right foot. Because I think he could have scored three times if he just used his right foot. <laughs> he, even like before Kane scored, Lamella could have scored with his right foot, but he chose to do a little outside curve, which wasn't bad, but lucky Kane was there. Otherwise, I don't think we would have gotten the goal. But regardless, Lamella was incredible today. Yeah, he made lots of good runs. And I don't know. I think I think Lucas will still get the place ahead of him in the starting 11 for Arsenal. But Yeah. Lamella's gonna is Lamella is always a huge threat off the bench. Yeah. Next up, Son Hyun Min. Seven point five. Seven point five. He was he had he was a good lot of work half. to go. He had a lot lot of work to do. Yes, he co was constantly running today. Co constantly running. Um, I would give him a higher rating, but he got subbed off quite yeah, early. Yeah, he did get subbed off, and he didn't have the I impact he, that he would have liked. I think it was because um he did lots of running. I didn't realize yeah. that. Same for the NLD. Yeah, because he's going to be vital in the NLD. He loves a goal against Arsenal. Yeah. Scored so in both of our last games against Arsenal, so that's really good. Last up, the man, the legend, Harry Kane. Nine. Nine. Absolutely superb. Two goals. A, uh, even 9.5. Nine goal, uh, four goals in two games. Yeah. It's good. Four goals and two assists. Six goals and assists in two games. Wow. That is something else. This guy is out of this world. But what a performance today. He is, he is, pro I think he's the best striker in the world. You think I don't see Lewandowski having this kind of performance. See, I see, I see Lewandowski being ahead of him this season. But if he moves to the NLS, I see definitely see Kane. But, ahead. um, no. I don't think Lewandowski would ever get six goals and assists in the Premier League. In two games, one in the Premier League, one in the Europa. I don't see yeah. Lewandowski. I, 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 if he had to play with, look, like Deli Alley and Musa Sissoko behind him, obviously they're not, they're good, but they're not the best Yeah. to assist. I mean, at uh, Bayern, Lewandowski's got Kimmage, Goretzka, Muller, Nabri, and Sane. He's got all those guys assisting him. Coutinho, well, yeah. not anymore, but used to. So I think Kane's the best player in the world. We're going to move on to the substitutes. Uh, we're not going to do Vinicius because he was on for like six minutes. And not even Hoybier because he was on for 15. He didn't really get on the ball much. We will do Bale, Bergwijn, and Mora. Starting with, uh, I think I'll just do the substitutes because you didn't really see them today, did you? I mean, I did see a little bit. I'll just... Okay. Well, I will start with Gareth Bale. I'll give him a seven. He was yeah using the ball well. Exactly what we expected of him. After his recent performances. As soon as he came on, he put a good cross in. Beautiful cross in for Bergwijn. But for Bergwijn. And I remember, as soon as all those three subs came on, M Lucas won the ball back. Uh, Lucas won the ball back. Gave it to Bale, put in a good cross. Yep. Bergwijn had a strong goal. Yeah. Good save by the keeper. So they all had an instant impact. And uh, I, I think Bale was unlucky not to get on the score sheet. Uh, on the Either get a goal or assist today because he was good. Next up, Steven Bergwijn, 6.5. This... I really hope that he can regain some kind of form because he has so much potential and he showed it today. He's got excellent dribbling. He just needs to work so much on his finishing because the guy re the guy can't finish. Yeah. Right. So he he seriously needs to work on his finishing. Um, he had the chance with Bale who swung in the cross towards Bergwijn, but he did force out. Let's be honest, he did force out a pretty good save out of the yeah. goalkeeper, but um. I think he just needs to work on his finishing and his lethal side, and I think he'll become a top winger. Last up was Lucas Mora. Seven. Energy. 
just energy. This guy just brings energy. He is, um... Yeah, he just brings so much pace, energy, and liveliness to the games. Always pressing the opponent down. So. Always, always pressing. A guy doesn't rest. He just presses, he just presses, presses he just presses, presses. Presses, presses, presses. And also, he does his little L for Lucas. Oh, yeah. Um, of course, we can't forget that. He has so much energy in him. I don't, I don't know where he gets it. He must I, eat like six gallons of chocolate frosting before. <laughs> before but, the but, game. but his body processes it in such a way that he doesn't have to waste it all right away. The energy stays with him. <laughs> But that's going to be it for our player ratings. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below what you would rate the players. And until next time, come on, you Spurs!